Hey guys, it's Tori from Monogram Moments, and today I'm going to walk you through how to use the warp tool inside of Silhouette Studio. So the warp tool allows you to hug your letters to a shape instead of just being straight across and leaving that extra white space that you see. So there's the warp tool. I am using Business Edition, however, you have to have at least Designer Edition. Designer Edition does have the Warp tool, but your standard, basic, free Silhouette Studio does not. I highly recommend Business Edition if you can swing the $99 because you can also save as a PNG and JPEG, um, which is helpful for your mockups. So anyways, I'm going to pull in this design that I have on my website. I'm going to go ahead and type out Go Tigers or Clemson Tigers, whichever. And I'm going to select it and change the font to, it's called swirl font, but actually if you wanted to download it, load it in a second, but I'm going to change my fill color to purple and my line color to purple. And it's called swift arrow font and you can get it from the silhouettedesignstore.com. I just typed in swift arrow font in Google and it took me there. So I'm going to go ahead and make this a little larger. And the football on the far right is the one where I just turned this a little bit and stuck it up there. So I'm going to do an offset as well so I get that white border around it so it kind of stands out against the football a little bit more. I set it to 0 .035 because that's how I knew I liked it. You can use whatever you want. And I drag that offset down and I'm going to fill it with white. You can really use whatever color you want. But I like white and I'm going to put it on top how I like it. So I've kind of got it like a shadow almost. And then once I am happy with that, I select it all and I group it together. So now if I were to rotate, like I said, this looks exactly like the top right one. And you might like the way that looks and you would be done. But if you did want to warp, warp it so that it hugs your football a little bit more, this is where the warp tool comes in. So I select the warp, warp and you're going to select warp selected shapes. And then you get this green box with all these dots inside of it. So you kind of have to play around um, <clears throat> with these dots. It takes a little bit of learning to figure out how the warp tool works and adjust. But you just pull that up and I'm going to pull the bottom so it doesn't make the letter so long. I'm going to kind of balance that out. But you can see already my E, my R and my S are getting closer to my football, which is what I wanted. And you can use that tool to play with the rotation. And that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to select it again and I'm going to hit release warp so that it stays. And then I just move that football out of the way so I can select all of this and group it. And there you go. Okay, so now I just finished this design out. You can pull in the SVG spots that I have and you just fill those with whatever color you like. I'm also going to show you how to use two different colors if you wanted to do two colors here. So I send that behind the shape so it goes behind those. So if I wanted to do two colors, I'd right click and select Release Compound Path. Then I'm going to select and hold Shift. So that way it selects all of the dots, keeps them selected. So I'm still holding shift and then I'm going to select the color that I want the second batch to be. And then I'm going to select all of it again so I can group them back. And then you can put in the right spot and make sure you don't have any white. I didn't zoom in to make sure, but that looks pretty good to me. And then I'm going to select it all, group it all together, and there's your final product. So that is how you can use the warp tool 
to make your letters fit along shapes better and how you can get two different colors using this design. So if you all have any other questions, please let me know. Be sure to check out my website and join my Facebook group. Till next time.